Yeah. Like you never did a drug and thought, oh, you know, like this could kill me or yeah. like this, like, or I'm drinking well, so heroin. much like this could. I was like, this is really, really good. I could definitely go down this path. And I was like, no, I'm not fucking with this anymore. Yeah. So you were able to kind of recreationally use that? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Well, my, my thing is alcohol, man. Too much fucking alcohol. Yeah. My thing was alcohol really and now it's cigars because yeah. I just replaced that and then like, uh, my brain never shuts off, so cigars is good for that. But yeah. then, like, yeah. then you're fucking wired from the tobacco. So yeah. Now yeah. I gotta lay off those things. But then I have all these cigar smoking friends now, and there's this whole fucking th you can't get rid of cigars because there's this big thing like, oh here's my oh try this one, try yeah. this one. So you, it's like you give away three and you get five back. <laughs> yeah. And your humidor <laughs> just keeps going. And up, then man. everyone just buys you cigars because they hear you're kind of into them, so they're yeah. like, oh Christmas is coming, get him a cigar. Everybody gets you cigars. Kind of into them is not the word. I fucking love them to, to an unhealthy point. So I'm I'm trying to get. Do you that. really have a humidor? in your house like a whole I just have, I just had the little, oh, the little but guy, I okay. two this is my third humidor cuz the other two times I gave away my cigars and I gave away the humidor and I was just like okay if I don't have that I won't fucking do yeah, it but then somebody gives me a, such a nice box it's like sacrilegious to let him go bad I'm like fuck you know but you don't really inhale a cigar right you no. just puff on it. Yeah. yeah you just get the mouth cancer Oh my yeah. God. Do you smoke it's cigarettes too or no? No, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Wow, good for you. So how'd you get into cigars? <laughs> oh, the Rose Bowl. I the went I went to fuck the Fuck you, Rose Bowl. No, I That's went to crazy. the Rose Bowl. My buddy Joe Bartnick and we just uh we decided like New Year's Eve, it's this weird thing where it's the greatest night of the year. As far as your money, you get make, make like double your money because the ticket prices are more. Uh -huh. But it's the most drunkest fucking horrible crowd, mm -hmm. and they can just have so many bad experiences. So <laughs> I came up with this thing. I was just like, dude, why don't we just do some extra gigs in December? Make our New Year's money, not fucking work New Year's, and go to the fucking Rose Bowl, get shit faced, and chill out. So he's like, all right. So we did that. Had a well, had beyond a great time. Almost mm -hmm. got kicked out within the first fucking two minutes. Oh my uh. god! Because we were so hammered. My br buddy brought the cigar in like. Because they were just scanning the tickets, and he had it in his mouth like fucking Patton, and he just fucking walked <laughs> like in. They didn't, they didn't see it. Yeah, so um, oh so I started with those, like, and I would really enjoy, and I would just, it was weird. For like three years, I just had that one every year. And then I did a movie when I was in Boston, and we were going to go on this boat ride, and I was thinking, like, what can I, you know, you always try to get something for the cast. Um, so I bought this box of cigars, and then the boat was so small, and there were so many people that didn't smoke. I was like, this is going to be obnoxious. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and, then, and then I had them, and I brought them back, and I, my mother always taught me don't waste things. Yeah. And then there was just one day, I was on the back porch of my house, the middle of the afternoon, and I lit up and I smoked a cigar. And I was like, oh this my God, great. this is the greatest fucking thing. I get why people do Oh, you feel like you fucking won a war. <laughs> like you yeah. haven't even done anything with your day. Still in your pajamas. If you light up a cigar, you just have these delusions of grandeur. <laughs> just start floating out of your head like, I'm fucking amazing. <laughs> this has been a great life. I'm smoking a cigar yeah. at one thirty in the afternoon. What are you doing? So, <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Um, and I smoked it by myself. And was to being a loner, I was totally fine. I'll tell you, it was fucking hilarious, though. One, I, I had to roast uh, Big Poppy, the Red Sox, uh -huh. uh, David Ortiz. Oh, my God. I came up with my whole roast thing, smoking a cigar. I sat on the back porch by myself, talking to myself, saying jokes, and then laughing. And then I would just record them. And then I would just keep throwing out, ah, you know, just, just going on and on and on and on. That's awesome. And then I just sort of, I just had like this fucking set. And I came up with the whole thing like, I don't know. It's a weird, but I have to be careful with it. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I was doing great. November was bad, though. November was bad. <laughs> I just, I just smoked a million of them. God, that's cool. Well, at least you don't do anything else. Like, like if that's your one thing, you know. Have you ever yeah. smoked CBD? Do you know you can smoke CBD? No, I, you I don't. Can? I don't. Yes, do CBD is the most weed? harmless because CBD has no THC in it, so you, you don't have to worry about getting know. high. There's, this is the greatest thing about weed now because it's legal. There's all these people who aren't doctors like giving you advice. I know. CBD is like not addictive. It's <laughs> like totally healthy. Oh, okay there. Okay. I don't, I'm looking for the MD uh, certificate on the wall. I don't see it. <laughs> That's like everybody always like, uh, like when they give you like an edible. Because I, I know I've done shit like that. I don't, but like, edible. I don't like, do weed. I yeah. don't do weed or edibles. People always, they don't yeah. even know what they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're no. like, this and then is you like come maybe back the next five. day, you're like, dude, what the fuck? Dude, I told you just to lick it. No, you didn't. <laughs> You told me to eat a fucking square, and I did. I was fucking tripping watching Peter Gabriel. For I started three laughing. Days. I started laughing. I couldn't stop fucking laughing. And then I was getting paranoid. Everyone's going to see me laughing, which made me laugh more. 
<laughs> and my wife was just looking at me. She, you know, when you're laughing so hard, people don't even know what you're laughing at. You're just yeah. laughing at how hard they're. I was yeah. laughing that fucking hard. <laughs> oh my and I God. love Peter Gabriel. Did you like the edible? Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah, like edible. No, it's just like it gets like. I don't like feeling fucked up. I just don't like how, like, I always felt with alcohol, you you could tell. Yeah, where you're the, going. You could the tell. Level. It's just yeah. like, okay, now we're going to take another step. And now we're going to do another step. That shit is just like, it comes <laughs> on. It's like, hey, it's just like you're going up into the atmosphere. It's like, all right, is this thing going to stop? This yep. has to be. And then you, you'll sit there for like a few seconds at this level and be like, all right, this is this has got to be the height. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> you're like, fuck. Where are we going? Yeah, trying to pull yourself back <laughs> down. That is the worst. It is the worst. I don't like I that. will say I hate them too. I do hate them. But I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I will say CBD has been really helpful because it doesn't make you feel fucked up and it doesn't have THC in it. It's just like the the. But healing. we're also lab rats. I, like, we are in a way, yeah, because it's not like a long. And people time always sit there going like, "Hey, it. man, like weed's all natural." It's like that yeah. shit in the seventies. We had to smoke half a bag just to get that shit was natural. This yeah. shit now, where it's just like, dude, you might want to just take half a hit of that. It's like it's the, the amount of chemicals. Yeah, there's crystals all over it. Yeah, the old shit was like your backyard lawn clippings. Like, yeah. yeah. I know now weed is way too strong. I don't smoke Half weed. It I can't do any of that. Yeah, yeah, that actually I liked like weak weed. Weak weed was awesome because you just yeah. knew what you were getting into. Yeah, but I got yeah. a couple of my friends. They're like old school pot guys. They're like I don't even fuck with it anymore. No, because they're it's just too like, intense. dude, weed is not weed anymore. It's, weed is no, like, it's crazy. Fucking insane. Because people's tolerances have gotten so insane that they need like crazy fucking weed otherwise they don't feel it you know what i mean like no i know a guy that he eats like 50s like they're golf balls see i just can't i can't imagine i mean what happened to me that peter gabriel that was that was 10 right same i've had 10 and i was just like fucked up for i I felt fucked up the next day i woke up and i was like i'm still fucked up like Mm -hmm. i'm still fucking tripping like it's kind of crazy yeah i won't fuck with edibles again but yeah no i mean you know, you got to do do what you got to do. But yeah, I mean, everything's fucking going to kill you at some point, I guess. You know, like, it's kind of oh, crazy. God, she's doing it again. I am. I'm saying <laughs> it. It's true. It's Stop. true. I am. So, I'm so, I'm talking about a dark cloud. We're um, going to die. We're all going to die of something, guys. So might as well do, <laughs> might as well just do a little bit of every. My dad always used to tell me everything in moderation. He's like, you'll never go wrong. Oh, if so you just heroin do- <laughs> Cool. Yeah, but it's like, if, you, if you have that, but if you have that ability. If you have that yeah. ability, you have that ability. Like, yeah. I, I learned that I, I, if I do something, I fucking do it. So I get all the way into it. So I have to be careful yeah. what it is. But I'm not like an addict. You're like an all or nothing I, guy. Yeah, I'm. I'm a binge drinker. Mm-hmm. I'm a binge drinker. That's how I always drank. Mm-hmm. You drank to get fucked up. You drank to try to drink more than your buddies. Mm-hmm. You had to shotgun a beer to get in the club and all. Just yeah. it was just always about abusing it. And um, yeah, I don't think I've I I uh, maybe like with wine, occasionally there's been like a glass of wine. You could that, have a glass of wine that could complement what I was eating. But then I felt like I really need to drink a water next <laughs> to just sort of make the the little bit of a buzz go away. Because if I just hey I'll have another glass of wine, yeah, and that thing's like let's fucking go. do this. 